Hi guys, in today's video we'll be talking about the water system inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. So I'll just open up the beginner tutorial project which I had. Ok guys, the editor is loaded in. So what we have to do first in order to use the water plugin is head over to your plugins, type in water and then just enable that. So with this you can start using the water system. And uh, now first of all, I've just cleared up the level, I'll just delete everything and then head over to create, uh, place actors panel and in the search bar here, you can type in water and you are going to find water. But before we do that, we'll need to create a landscape. So go to the landscape editing tab, enable edit layer because the water system actually builds upon the landscape layers and of course it's going to compile some shaders and let's just create that okay guys i'm back so now let's go ahead and actually create the water so in order to do that head back to your place actors tab and let's just drag in an ocean we will talk about lake as well as river soon I just dragged in and I should not have built the lighting because I need to build it again now. So this is the water we have as of now. So we could head over to our uh, placement section. Select this. If you select the individual point and if you move it, you can drag your landscape. And if I press alt and drag that, I can create another point. So basically click on the exact point you want to manipulate and you can press alt, drag that. Then you can deform your island or landscape or whatever into whatever shape you want. So now that we have all of this, let's start actually tweaking the material a bit and then we'll head over and talk about lakes as well as rivers. So first things first, let's try making changes to the waves because let's be honest, they look pretty plain and head over to your details panel make sure you have this selected and head over to your details panel and type in material you should find water material underscore ocean just open that up see it's a material instance you can change various parameters over here first things first we have the distant water speed so if if i zoom out and if I increase the distance, distant water speed, so let's say change it to something like 1.9, you see it rushes a bit. And normal strength is just going to talk about the depth, whatever you see. Uh, distant, you won't really notice, so I won't mess with that. Uh, so if I increase this, what you would notice is there's a lot more detail in the water. It doesn't really look that realistic, so I'll just set it to something like 0.2 this seems much better and the water scale is just going to make the waves a bit bigger in size so I'll just set that to 2000 maybe so the next important setting is going to be your adsorb absorption so this is basically a water color so let's say I wanted to like make it more green so I could click on that and go ahead or to enable that then Go ahead and click on 200 it's going to make the water a bit more green so if i just increase that to something like a thousand it's going to be a lot more greener yeah you could just mess around with those values then you'd want to edit the water roughness and specular that's pretty straightforward so if i press one it's going to make the water entirely rough which is not ideal again and specular again it's basically the opposite of uh, I mean it's just the other form of roughness that you can simulate to make a surface glossy or rough. Now let's talk about waves. So the way you can actually edit waves is going going into your details panel. Again having that selected type in waves and you're going to see this waves asset. Just browse to that by clicking the little magnifying glass there and if you open that up you'd see all sorts of settings. And since this is a material instance, you are going to see the changes in real time. I said that to 12. See the number of waves changes. Could set the seed again. So it's just going to like randomize the direction. 
just change that to whatever you want and again uh, wavelength is pretty much the size of the wave so if you wanted to simulate like far away ocean waves like large ones you could have this to a much higher value this seems like a fair value again your max wavelength as well as your minimum wavelength are available so say 4000 and let's say 500 for this I'm happy with this again it's completely up to you and amplitude again can increase that to increase the height of the wave so let's say I set this to something like 50 it's going to make it a lot higher and the maximum amplitude again let's say I set this to something like 100 I set this to 20 again you're going to get higher waves completely up to you again yeah so that's pretty much it for ocean now let's head into lake so again you can just type in lake and you can just drag that in alt drag to create a new point for you to drag for the lake and the settings will be pretty much the same the same way you would go ahead and uh, edit the waves over here and let's not close that then heading over to river these are again splines so water body river it's going to compile a bunch of shaders for us okay guys I'm back so now talking about the river again so as you guys can see it's pretty much the same thing pretty much made out of splines again so I can just drag this over a bit more further and again I'll have to rebuild the lighting if you guys want the river to just blend a little bit better you remember the parameters we changed in the ocean material just make the same changes for the river material and then it will actually blend better so again the same procedure so if I go ahead and head over to material so water material river could head over to this and make the same exact changes whatever we did to the ocean material so yeah guys that's pretty much it so that's basically how you actually go about create using this water system in unreal engine 5 and guys if you haven't joined my discord server make sure you do join my discord server link is down in the video description below Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll be talking about buoyancy. It'll be a pretty short one, but it's going to be a fun one as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss the video. And goodbye guys.